welcome back to day 20 of hashtag DIY DP November 23. Hope you're all doing well. Um, I am here today to do an update video so that we can let everybody know how you are getting on with your project. So this is mine. This is, um, this is a stained glass Hobbit. I got this pattern from Etsy, but I can't remember where, I'm sorry. Um, it is 128 by 61.25 centimetres. So um, a decent size. I am working in four canvases, two this size, two smaller. Um, so now I've done that, let's come out of there and I'll get back into my chart. Um, I hope you're all well. Um, if you do not know, DIY DP is a conversion event where we spend a month working together on our conversions, things, projects that normally get left quite a lot, don't they? So it just gives us the month to work on our projects and get some progress. That's what we need. Um, so my name is Sam. As always, any info, info that you may need, uh, email um uh links to shops etc are all in the description box as always and i am just going to make a start on getting this done um i have got everybody's figures thank you so much to everyone for using the post on facebook it makes it so much easier it really does um, so I'm coming straight in and working on mine. So currently, my stats are I've laid 10,800 drills out of 125,440. So I'm at 8.61%. I had a good day yesterday because I actually did do two full sections, which is the most time that I have had to diamond paint during this entire event ridiculous isn't it but that's why we do this it's so that we can get some progress made because it's all too easy isn't it i don't know about you guys but for me if i'm prioritizing time nine times out of ten i will go for a normal canvas because it's quick easy you know and this isn't about easy is it this is about getting these big projects done <coughs> <coughs> excuse me for coughing at you i do hope that you are having a good day have to say very very impressed with some of the stats that have gone up geez some of you guys are cracking on we've got at least two people that have finished one canvas and started on another which is bloody phenomenal well done um i have sat today and done orders and prizes have gone out um there is a um current competition running um on my last on saturday's video so you need to go look for saturday's video um and basically throughout the video i've put up three images um so to enter you send me an email at kitten up kitten at gmail.com and you tell me what those images are and in what order that's that's all you need to enter the free draw simple as that however there is a bonus prize because each one of those images now i need to i need to say this because a lot of people you know i might have made this too difficult but um, if you say what you see, that's all I can say. Say what you see, um, there is, it, it does make up a phrase, okay? Now, if you have already contacted me, emailed me with your answer, you now cannot change it. Um, I may have made it a little bit too difficult, but it is a bonus prize. It's nothing major. Um, to enter the main draw, all you need to do is tell me what those three images are and make sure they're in the correct order. It's that simple. Jobs are good. And the cutoff for that competition is actually Wednesday 
at midnight. It is currently Monday. Let me just place these two, that one there. No doubt I'm going to have done this wrong. Um, the main reason that I have got um, some extra done yesterday is because I had a huge amount of colour blocking. Um, this section is very similar, um, which makes it go a little bit faster because we know, don't we? Confetti gives you detail. Colour blocking keeps you working, keeps your speed. Um, so I'm just going to get this first colour in. Um, Mondays are generally, generally, generally quite busy for me because obviously I do all my orders on a Monday. Um, because I have a day off my other job. Do not think for one second I actually have a day off, day off. I don't. And especially this month. The last, the first three weeks of this month have been incredibly busy um, for various reasons. So um, I'm quite enjoying the fact that this week I have no one coming in for nails or anything. Um, so I'm hoping to get a bit of diamond painting done. Um, there will be a video going up tomorrow which is another unboxing um one two three four yeah that one um because i have had some promo packages i still have one more to film and i also have two diamond art club um canvases to unbox one i've already filmed one i have not so i've still got that to do just not enough time um need to give a shout out as always to my lovely friend penny at Calp sparkles who has just launched some fabulous new cover papers and place markers i've got to be careful because the dog's under my desk um place markers for your spare drill boxes which are fabulous um so if you haven't already followed her i'm sure you have but if you haven't, go give her, give her a follow. Um, and also a shout out to the Facebook group. It is called Calbs Sparkles. Um, there is a link to that in the description box as well. And of course, there is a link to my Etsy shop. Although at the minute, I don't have a lot on. Um, I do have some pens drying at the minute. So um, I will have a few pens as soon as they are set enough that I can take them off the holder I can make the next lot I do intend on making a huge amount of those pens because I do think they go well and I need more uh, the pen I'm talking about because I haven't even told you what I'm using today so I am of course using my standard limited edition lavender for Lisa Trey here is the mini one just in case you haven't seen it um, these are available to purchase from the 1st of December on my Etsy shop. Pop over there, give the shop a follow um, and then you will get notified when they go up. Um, as we get a little bit closer, I will put up the, the launch time. I expect that just like the pink, they will go quick like literally last limited edition colour when within a couple of days um i expect this one to go even quicker because there are so many people that wanted this colour wanted a purple tray so um yeah keep your eyes open for that um i am using one of my pens so basically they're soft because they're made out of air dry polymer clay um, and they're just really good if you've got problems with your hands, you've got arthritis or fibro or, you know, any issues with grip. They're very good for that. They don't hurt your fingers. And in actual fact, both myself and Penny have said we pretty much... I went back to using a normal pen the other day and I didn't like it. It's too heavy. These are incredibly light. Um, and I will be filling filling my shop with more I'm waiting for some stands because um, you do need to stand them so that they're not laying on their side because they do mold to whatever they're laid on so you've got to be careful um, but I will be making some more 
Um, as soon as the, the few that I've got are available, I will put them up. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Not very neat placing today. What's bloody new? Um, so yeah, I, I was quite pleased with myself yesterday that I got as much done as I did. So um, yeah, I thought I'd come on, get this video done as early as I can, because then I don't have to worry about it. And then I've got all day. You can hear the machines running in the background. Um, I am frantically making purple trays, as well as doing orders on my normal stock. Um, that's normal, you know. I'm, I'm usually, I'm usually running the machines, but um, at the minute, frantically putting out those those purple trays. That is the biggest thing at the minute. So I'm sure that you would be interested to know how everybody is doing, wouldn't you? So the easiest way for me to do that is just to read them out. So these are in no particular order. If the person that is taking part um, is a YouTuber, I will of course give them a shout out at the same time. Um, because you know, this community, we're all about sharing and supporting each other. Quite a, quite a big thing for both myself and Penny. Um, but me specifically, you know, can't forget about, you can't forget about the other people because um, I'm not scared to share, you know, the more people we have to watch, the better, as far as I'm concerned. I do have comments, etc. And once I get through the names and stuff, I have got a couple of comments I want to talk about because, you know. They, they need answering um, my normal whips when I resume back to my normal whips then I will start reading everybody's comments so please do not be offended um, I also need to do a shout out because I'm going off on a, a, a meander today aren't I to the lovely craftyish Kristen who is doing a weekly video for me on this event um, and also the crafty diamond um, who has also been doing some videos um, alongside the lovely Katia, Carp DM does diamond painting. Thank you guys. Um, I am where possible um, uh, what was I going to say? I am where possible I'm saving your videos to my playlist on my on my um youtube i hope that's okay um so if you are taking part and you know maybe you're having a bit of a sesh maybe you're you're sitting there and you're bloody rocking it out but the one little video that i'm doing is not enough for you please do check out the diy dp november 23 playlist there are lots more videos in there um if you can of course see your way to uh, liking and subscribing to those people as well i know that they would be very grateful as am i so close to a thousand oh my god so um that is that so let's crack on and get these updates done so week three results um debbie the crafty diamond well done debbie she's doing a stitch in time um she is now at 20,664 drills laid of 75,400 and she's at 27%. Now, if you think that she started at 21.3%, really good going, Debbie. Well done. Really, really pleased that you're going so well. Uh, let me get my next. I'm picking out all the little bits. Can you see? That's my, my thing today. I'm picking out all the little bits. Uh, next up, we have the lovely Leandri with her sparkly Avenger, which I have to say is one of my favourites in this competition, just because her partner did it for her, created it for her, which I think is bloody amazing. Um, it's looking really good, Leandri, really good. Um, so Leandri, week three, has laid 15,600 drills so far. 
in the competition and she is at 26 percent well done leandri just forgotten then which drills i've laid off to a good start as always sam as always um we then have colette colette is working on wisteria moon it was a new start she has laid in the course of the last three weeks 25,619 drills which is bloody phenomenal she is at 65.94 percent you've got to be pleased with that Claire haven't you you really have took on board and run with the whole focus on your on your projects for this month and you know why is that not working there we go. Uh, not even I've done that. Do you know what I mean? And I'm running the bloody thing. Fabulously well done, Colette. It's looking good. Um, we then have Inga. Inga's working on Sparrow Blossom. Um, she has now laid 7,200 of 12,000 drills. So she's at 60%. Well done, Inga. I have no doubt at all that you can probably finish this during this month and that's always a good thing isn't it to get a finish oh my god three right so that one's there please excuse me for counting while i'm trying to uh while i'm trying to read out names as well so well done inga um then we have Tammy. Tammy is doing mini quarantine cats. Um, this wasn't a new start for her, but I tell you what, she's done 10%. No, more than 10%. About 12% since she started. Hang on, she was at 28. Yeah, she, she's done about 15% over the course of the last three weeks, which is bloody phenomenal. It really is phenomenal phenomenal <laughs> it's one of them days what can i say um so tammy well done she has now laid thirty-four thousand and eighty drills um and she is at 43.15 percent well done tammy do not forget i know you're all sitting there thinking why are you not putting pictures up just because i did it for the first one and i'm going to do it for the last one um but it's very time consuming to do that so i'm not going to do that on this occasion it is just updates however if you are on um the calbs sparkles facebook group you will be able to see everyone's progress because they are sharing updating putting up silly memes you name it we've got it going on on there so you can view them all there i strongly advise you go over and add yourself onto that group must talk to penny actually about us doing like a giveaway once we get to so many so many people on that group it is penny's group it isn't mine she just lets me share because she's kind and she's my friend and even though she moans about me shouting at her, you know, she can't, she can't do that, you know. Right, uh, next up we have Anita. Anita is working on Harmony um, and she has laid 39,000 drills since the beginning of this competition. 39,000. She is already at 25%. Absolutely brilliant. Um, Anita and again another person who has literally taken this whole idea on board and have just run with it bloody well done so jealous I wish I could get more done I'm so jealous um, we then have the lovely Jamie um, Jamie is doing Lake Cabin which is a gorgeous canvas it's not the sort of thing I would normally go for but I really do like it um, I think it's a heaven and earth um, and she has now laid 24,000 drills since the start of the competition she did have a new start so really good going Jamie she's now at 6.38 percent so a little while to go but you know that's what happens when you choose a big one you know 
that, that that's what happens and that is why I have prizes for most reels laid and most percentage done because they're very very often not the same thing at all not at all so well done Jamie okay we then have Alexandra now I need to explain with Alexandra she actually finished her first canvas that she did um, she has started a second so the figures I'm going to give you now are for her second canvas so she's already completed one which is which is great um, that's the beauty of doing smaller projects isn't it because um, you know a, a lot of us are doing I mean mine's 125,000 drills um, but when you're doing one and it's like 78,000 or nine, ninety-one thousand. it's not quite as big um, but you know what can I say all the ones I like are just bigger pictures that's all I can say let me just get this one in a marked off because I, if I get this colour done I won't forget where I am and I'm less likely to make a bloody mistake which as you know is a daily occurrence in everything I do <laughs> not even diamond painting everything I, I am oh I also need to say to Vilica I did get your message my darling thank you so much for sending the bits out to me I haven't received them yet but I will email you as soon as I have there is no rush no panic Thank you, my lovely. Uh, next up, we have Lizzie. Lizzie is doing mini magical merry-go-round. She had a new start, and to date, she has laid 11,400 drills. So, well done, Lizzie. She's now at 14.49%. So jealous. I'm literally, I've only just got to 10,000. Do you know what I mean? And I'm running the bloody thing. But anyway... Uh, let me get my next colour and then I'll get the next person's name up. I want the ones where I don't have masses of them. I'm getting all these little bits first because it makes it easier. Uh, next we have Sume. Sume is doing Mini Vixen, which I think is uh, Hannah Lynn. Um, and she's up to 53,160 drills, so she's now at 70.8 five percent which means that you could get this done so you may you could get this completed this month i think you've done phenomenally well you were at 43.77 percent to start you're now at 70 so that's really really good so you know keep going my lovely i'm pretty sure that you could have a finish on your canvas this month Okay, uh, next up, need to turn my book over, next up we have the lovely Mandy, Mandy's doing mini reading cats, um, so week three, she's now laid, um, she's at 55,250 drills and at 73.28%, now I know it's a bigger one, even though it's a mini, it's still quite big, but you know, possibly a finish. If not this time, definitely in May. Hopefully you'll come back in May. I mean, you've been on all of the other ones, so I hope that you will. But well done. And it's going to be interesting seeing yours against Penny's because Penny obviously is doing the max colour, the super size one. So um, it'll be interesting to see the, the differences and the similarities. For all I know, they may be completely the same. Just, just yours is smaller. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing. Right, I've done that one. Stop forgetting to mark things off, Sam, because this is how the mistakes happen. Let's mark those. Just need to get these this colour finished, and I will continue. Very quiet house here today. Um, cat's at school, Ash is at work, and my mum's gone into town. It's very quiet. Then we have... Kristen. Kristen's working on geode. Um, she's now at 45,000 of 202,499. So she's at 
22.22%. Sorry about that, I had to shut the door because mum literally just came back in. Um, Kristin, as you know, is craftyish. Kristin, she's building a nice little channel. She's racing through them numbers, getting up quite high. Um, please do give her a follow. She will be doing the video tomorrow. She does the Tuesday video. And we're hoping that maybe we could get all three of us on a live this week on Friday, which would be great. So well done, Kristen. It's still doing better than me, my darling, because <laughs> I'm not, I'm really not doing well. Um, but well done. And then next up, we have Katia. Um, the lovely Carp DM does diamond painting. Um, she is working on the untamed i don't know actually what the untamed is i think it's like anime um so i apologize katia but it is looking good i saw you you update pic this morning it is looking good you may have noticed if you were on the group this morning that where your stats are i'd liked it and that was just purely because i'd got that i'd got that figure so i liked it so i knew i'd done it just so i didn't miss anybody And I've just realised that I didn't check my emails either. So I don't even know if anyone's emailed me. So maybe I should check that. But I don't think they did. I think everybody's put them on on the group, which is so much easier for me. Having that dedicated post is so much easier. Because, um, yeah, it is quite difficult getting all the figures off in numerous places. Okay, might as well finish this. I think that's all of them because that's that colour done. So Katia is now at 170,888 drills laid, which means she's at 74.02%. Which is which is pretty bloody good. You've done quite a bit, haven't you, Katia? So well done. Again, looking forward to seeing yours finished. We're getting there, we're getting there. Okay, let me get my next colour out. Yeah, I don't, that's that's too many. Let's do that one. The reason I said it's too many is I just want these spotty bits. So I will do the smallest amounts first and then I can fill in because that then means that I can come in with Um, my multi-placer and for me anything I can multi-place means that I will do it quicker I am impressed actually with this with this um, canvas I got this off Penny from when she did her order um, she bought a load last year and it's no popping drills it is a lovely lovely canvas Nicely marked, no issues. So I have to say, right, let's get that one in. So next up we have Amy. Amy is working on her Pokemon canvas. Um, the last update I've got is she has laid 68,250. So she's now at 59.24%. Um, it wasn't a new start for Amy. Um, she was doing this in May as well um, but doing really well it's, it is a really big canvas so well done Amy we then have the lovely Claire but I don't have an update for her today but do you know what I'm not going to hold it against her because she's poorly bless her and she's doing the best that she can so do you know what keep going Claire keep going we're um, you know you've got at the minute you've got much more important things on your mind so um i just wanted to give you a mention so claire is of course a diamond painting nerd um you know if you haven't already go give us some love because i do like to support my fellow my fellow diamond painters my fellow youtubers because i can tell you right now doing this is not as easy as you think i was saying to penny this morning do you remember them days when we just diamond painted? 
and like like literally for me at the minute the only time I'm diamond painting is pretty much when I'm doing these videos whereas back in the day I just used to whack on YouTube watch somebody else diamond paint and just diamond paint to my heart's content oh those were the days my friend I thought they'd never end I don't regret it I don't how can I regret it how can I regret meeting you lovely people right so let's pick out those because we haven't got many of those next up we have tina marie tina is working on an elsa princess panel by mandy manzano from heaven and earth it was a brand new start for her so far in three weeks she's laid sixteen thousand six hundred and eighty two drills putting her at a very firm 26.82 percent well done tina that is fabulous should be proud of yourself these these figures are what i did this for this is what i did it for so that you know to see people getting their projects done is it's lovely i really really do enjoy it so well done tina next up we have kim kim is doing snowcat um, no Christmas singing to Snowcat, thank you very much. You know what I mean, Penelope. Um, Kim had a brand new start with this and so far she has laid 16,120 drills. Um, putting her at 13.55% and I know that you were struggling, weren't you Kim, first week? So the fact that you've been able to get that much done, you've really had a good week this week, so well done big big clap on the back not too hard gentle clap on the back you know i'm not a bully i'm not hard-handed or anything so well done kim okay that was a nice easy three to put in what we got you see just these little bits and pieces just one or two at a time um then we have lisa um so the lovely lisa um from lisa's coloring corner um has also been working she has completed her dragonfly canvas which is brilliant didn't even realize that till this morning she has now come in with iris of the rainbow and so far she has laid 7,104 drills. However, however, as I understand it, I may be wrong because like obviously Penny speaks to, to Lisa quite a lot and then I speak to, Le uh, to Penny and Penny tells me what Lisa's up to. Apparently, either you've laid the wrong drills or mucked up the canvas or something so you're going to have to redo it so i am sorry lovely but if anyone can do it you can you're one of the the, the strongest people i know so you know at least you didn't lay down you know three quarters of your canvas and then realize so fingers crossed that you get that picked up let me get my next color my next yeah, we'll do that one, 959. Do like this colour, I have to say. It's one of my favourites. I don't think I've ever used this colour in anything before. And it's just so pretty. Um, we then have Sabine. Uh, Sabine is working on Ugly Birds. Um, she is now, she has now laid 40,418 drills. Now I need to say, when you've got these really, really high amounts, a lot of the time, um, not all of those drills has been laid in the course of the last three weeks because a lot of people are continuing canvases they've started in May, say. So, um, you know, there is no new start required. Um, usually, if it's a new start, I will say to you that they've had a new start. Does that make sense? Or have I just made that more complicated? Anyway, it was not a new start for Sabine, um, but she is now at 53.30%, so over halfway. This is, so for me, when I got to 50%, um, I had that immense feeling of great, I'm halfway, I'm now on the, on the downhill on it. And then when I got to 75%, that was the bit where I was like, yep, yep, 
We've got to get this done. We've got to get it finished. So well done, Sabine. So many people, so many names. Look, and there we go. Let's get rid of that. How many? We've got quite a few of those. Right, so let's do that because we've only got four. Eight. Oh my God, forgot to pour them back in, didn't I? See, I told you how the hell I have gone from diamond painting to doing YouTube to running competitions, I don't freaking know because honestly, honestly, some kind of special me. So let me get my next colour. The next one we have is Jennifer Franco. Now Jennifer's doing Sea Turtle. Now I think this is actually a free pattern on um, Heaven and Earth. Um, you can get free patterns on Heaven and Earth. So if you've never tried doing something like this before and you want to give it a go, check out the free patterns because you may just find something there's a couple of people doing sea turtle um, and it is a really pretty canvas so um yeah check out the free the free downloads on heaven and earth because that will save you some money although they're not massively expensive for the charts i have to say um so jennifer um had a brand new start she has laid get this 76,042 drills in 20 days. What the actual. Well done, Jen. Well done. She's now at 67%. So at that amount, there is no reason you can't finish this before the end of the month. I, I expect that you will. Bloody well done. Kind of want to stop reading everyone's names out now because they're all doing better than me. 701, where are you? Have we just got one? Yep, just got one. That'll do. Picked one up on the pen, not on the tip. I do need to replace the uh, double-sided tape in my pen. Come on, turn around, thank you. God, that was a lot of effort for one drill. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, next up we have Melissa. Melissa is working on tea and books, which is also a really, really pretty pattern. Really pretty. Um, Melissa now stands at 41,609 drills laid. Um, when she started, she'd actually only done just over two and a half thousand so again a large amount of drills how you guys are doing this i don't know i really don't i'm so so proud of all of you for just you know taking this seriously taking this little this little event seriously kind of feel kind of feel very proud like you're my little children. <laughs> That's it, lost it. I lost it. I know a lot of you sit there going, yeah, you, you never had it, so to be fair. But I am, I'm very proud. I'm very proud of, of the whole thing. I'm proud of how it's growing. Proud to take part in it. Proud to see everyone's progress. Why did that one not? There we go, thank you. Next colour. Uh, then we have Nicole. Uh, Nicole is working on Grand Library. Is this a um, Amy Stewart? I think. Um, so it's not a new start, but she's now up to twenty-eight thousand five hundred. Um, and she's at 7.08%. It is a big one. Um, I do love Amy Stewart, but it is very, very confetti heavy. Um, you know, sort of put her in the same category as Josephine Wall. But really well done, Nicole. Um, we then have Kelly Harper. Kelly's doing bath time. Um, ooh. 
Let me just check because I don't know. I, right, so the last figure I've got for Kelly is 34,840. So she's now at 46.81%. Um, I hope that's correct. I apologise if not. <laughs> well done, Kelly. And then we have Mindy. Mindy is also working on Sea Turtle. Let me just get these two in. Is there are only two. Good day. Look how little I've managed to get done in this time. Um, so Mindy wasn't a new start. She had already started it, but she was. Uh, she'd done twenty nine point nine four percent. She is now at sixty eight point two three percent. She's laid in total thirty five thousand four hundred and fifty drills. Um, so well done. It means she's laid around 20,000 drills in the last three weeks. So well done, Mindy. Um, I am going to go back and I'm just going to check because I think I've got some people's missing. So just bear with me one second. I'm just going to check my email. Okay, so what was supposed to be a very very quick break ended up being quite a long one um, for the following reasons um, I got a parcel delivered today from the lovely Villica she did say that she was going to be sending me some diamond paintings either for my mum or for um, let me just I'm just trying to pick these colours out or for um, prizes for giveaway prizes oh my god it was a massive box um, I'm not gonna go through it all on here but I want to say to Vilica thank you so so much um, all of those items are absolutely lovely they will make fabulous giveaway prizes um, mum doesn't diamond paint quite as much as I do and she does have quite a lot <laughs> at the minute so much so that I'm not actually buying her a diamond painting for Christmas this year I'm gonna get her something else because she has been knitting quite a lot so um or crocheting either or um, so they will go in as prizes um, I am always very very grateful to receive stuff like that and um, if it helps with you know getting rid of some of the stuff that you no longer want then you know it helps me an awful lot because it means that I can give out better prizes to people, you know, because I haven't, I can spend a bit more on the postage because I haven't got to pay for the actual items. So thank you, thank you so much. I have emailed Villica already as well. Um, I also need to do another shout out for um, the lovely Lisa and Betsy who, because of their um, buy me a coffee, um money that they sent me i've been able to buy three diamond art club uh sorry two diamond art club diamond paintings which i did literally the day after my father passed away so it really cheered me up when i needed it the most and um yeah that helps an awful lot because that is my plan to build my stash next year is to order two or three every three months um obviously i will use my own money but any money that i get from buy me a coffee etc goes straight back into diamond painting so to all of you thank you so so much i'm so lucky i'm very 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 grateful right 704 so um i ended up um messaging penny video calling penny um so we ended up having a conversation and then i, I rolled some cigarettes and you know it happens <laughs> i got distracted um and i've literally just got off on a second call to penny so i've literally just said i need to go and finish this bloody video off so i can get it up otherwise you guys are not gonna have a video today and you need a video today I originally took a break to have a cigarette and just to um, put a post up on the group to say how well done, how you're doing so well. And it kind of morphed into, must be about three quarters of an hour. <sighs> I definitely need to change the tape. Right, so that one's wrong. It needs to be up one more. And then that one goes there. 
trying to concentrate now, but I definitely need to change my tape because it is not playing ball. As you can see, I've lost my sticky on my single placer. So we've got that one there, that one there, that one there. I will do this colour and then I will change my tape out while I'm on the video. Um, because once I get this done, then I can obviously get it uploaded and um, I can crack on with the other things I've got to do. Oh, there's the dog. Open the door. You're a cheeky mare. Storm. Cheeky mare. All right, let's do those because I've done those. And then I need one on the end. Like literally, the majority of the prizes that I give out are either things that I get. Uh, done that one. Not done that one. They're, they're things that I get in promo packages or they're things that I may buy. If I buy, let's say I buy storage and I get a load of little bits and pieces with it. You know, I put those in as giveaway prizes. Um, I still have canvases that I got from the lovely Sharon. Um earlier this year um, so that's where the prizes all come from I mean I could get by just on the promo packages to be fair but it's kind of nice getting different stuff because of course the problem I have when I go and choose these things is I'm choosing things that I would like and what I would like is not necessarily what you would like so um, yeah very very grateful it does enable me to to do the odd competition i do like to do a little giveaway as often as i can um there we go that's that color done right let me turn let me sort out the tape in this pen and then with a bit of luck just checking that i'm still recording i have got my phone on do not disturb today so hopefully that won't be an issue so i'm going to get some double-sided tape so what I usually do is I normally change out both at the same time I'm going to use these little tweezers that I've got I can't remember where I got these from they're either from Star Wars or something you see that's actually quite sticky never mind we'll put fresh in it's not going to hurt is it definitely not going to hurt so let's get rid of that in the bin and for anyone who has never seen before I'm going to show you how I load my pen so I've got my double sided tape stick it to my nail sometimes I stick it on the side of the multi-placer either or you just need it somewhere that you can stick it down and peel the uh, peel the tape off now I've got more than enough here to do both ends easily so what happens is when you peel your paper off it naturally curls up so then you just curl it up flatten it out a bit and then you get your multi-placer and you literally just slot it into the end of the multi-placer this is the quickest and easiest way I know of to load your multi-placer I cut the excess off there give it a good press down and then what I do is I trim off anything that's sticking out the top because you won't need it that bit there is what I then will use to put in my single placer now this is quite a shallow one so it, you won't get masses in here and this is why I use double-sided tape because it means that I can load both ends at the same time from the same bit and it means that if I am doing a diamond painting with ABs I will use this to do all the other drills first because that's when it's at its stickiest and then I will do my ABs last because by the time you've done your whole section it will be ready to be used for ABs so for me and I'm not saying this is for everyone but for me Double-sided tape is the best medium for me as an all-round medium. 
because I don't have to do anything else with it. And then all I do is literally give it a little bit of a tap on my skin or on my cardigan or, you know, just to dirt it up a little bit. And then we're good to go. I'm hoping all of that was in shot. If it was not, I apologise. I'll do it again next time. It's fine. So I'm just looking for these smaller amounts. 3046, which is a beautiful lovely natural yellow is that even a word not sure so let's get this in so we're down here one there and one there and then two there I literally do th like for me Double-sided tape is my favourite. Uh, nano tape works quite well as well. Nano tape's a little bit harder because you have to be more. You can't overfill with nano tape because if you overfill, it will not work. Um, and nano tape doesn't really work with ABs either. Hence why I have reverted back. And I am not knocking putty. Putty works very well. I've only tried um, normal blue tack and um, Abby's diamond painting putty. They're the only two I've tried, but there are numerous companies out there that do it. Numerous people. Um, and it is very good. It's very, very quick to go. I just don't like using it for ABs. It's just, yeah. I don't want to have two pens on the go or you know four pens or whatever or two different mediums in my pen I don't want to have to faff with glue dots and then get the double sided tape from a multi so I want an all in one and for me this is it double sided tape is it so yeah please we've got the update done i am astounded by how well you are doing do not stop keep drilling penny was working on hers as i was talking to her so um she's having a good day today as well i've only laid 256 drills so far um i am not going to stay on here and do the whole section because that would just be too long 6.13, there we go, um, I'm just going to do a little bit more, um, the rest of today casserole is in, so I'm hoping if I, let's go for that colour, if I get this um, video done and edited, I can leave this out and then I can continue um, dotting for the rest of today. Um, I do need to get my bag ready for the car because um, I'm at work tomorrow. And I also need to submit a product list to my boss so that I've got my cleaning stuff for next week. Other than that, not a lot. Um, I'm going to try and uh, avoid the, the dog walk later. <laughs> If I can get away with it, I probably won't. Um, and we have got a busy time coming up. I My daughter is 18 um, on the 5th of December. Um, for her 18th, we are going to London to see Les Mis um, and to visit HMS Belfast because she really wants to go do that. She is massively into... World War One, World War Two tanks, airplanes, ships. So anything like that, she loves it. Um, so yeah, we're going to stay over in two days. I'm hoping to go to Carnaby Street with her because I think she'll love Carnaby Street. She is. I think these are all large amounts now. So which is the smallest we've got? Um, this one. Oh, probably those. So let's do the 747. No, sorry, let's do the 451. Something's just fallen down. What was it? Oh, it's one of the diamond paintings. That's fine. Just 
stuff falling down all the time. It just, you know, I just pile stuff up in the corner. God knows where I'm going to put this box of villikers because I've got nowhere to put it. So, um, yeah, let's get some prizes sent out. That's all I'm going to say. Right, so 451, we have got this colour. So I'll do this colour and then I am going to call an end to the video um, because I've got other stuff I need to do. I'm going to take that one out because that is clearly not... And I'm going for this darker purpley grey colour, which is kind of similar to the tray. It's not too far off it. And da, 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 da. I will at some point um, assign DMC numbers to these trays when I get a chance. Um, because I think it's useful for people to be able to see what colour they are because there is a massive difference between the normal grey and the silver grey that I do. You know, it's, it's a lot different filament. Um, I haven't found an exact match to this. I think, um, I do think Kristen did. So, um, Kristen, if you found the exact match for this purple, please let me know what DMC number it is. And I will update that on Etsy so people know. Because I kind of think it's important, you know. It's like lots of people like purple, but they might not like this purple. You know, I don't want to sell them a tray that they think is 550 when it's not. Oh, that's the machine. That's the, the printer ready to um, come off. We had an issue with printing stoppers. That's what I was going to do. Right, so I had a comment. I can't remember who it was, so I apologise. Um, but somebody did ask me how long it takes to print a tray. Okay, depends what size it is. So a mini tray takes just over an hour, but that is just the tray. That is not the lid. The lid also takes over an hour. The standard tray takes... Um, nearly three hours so it's like two two and three quarter hours i think um so the lids a small lid will take an hour um the standard lid will take a couple of hours um i print them singly um just because it's quicker to get them off and get the next one going again um however stoppers um i actually print in nines so it takes about four hours to do nine stoppers. Um, so I tend to print them in bulk. Um, but yeah, it's an all day thing, really. So on an average day, I can print um, on one machine, one small, one large. On the other machine, two small, one large, because it's slightly faster. Um, so yeah, it, it does vary. Varies on what I'm printing. Um, and it depends on the printer one of the printers is more expensive and that tends to take it used to take a little bit shorter time it's actually quicker now because over time Ashley has you know fiddled with the settings somewhat to make it a little bit quicker you know and the payoff is you do have to keep sort of updating them because yes you can increase the time the you can decrease the time it takes to print but you will then get the payoff that the print may not be as good so you've got to get that balance right because if you don't it all goes horribly wrong and we are still really i'm not being funny we're still relatively new to this we've only been printing trays for a year so I think we're doing okay. We've got two machines now. Hubby is currently potentially looking for a third. Um, because having a third machine would then mean, number one, he might have some hopes of being able to print stuff himself, because he does. Um, and two, we could then do limited edition colours, possibly a little bit more often. I don't want to do a limited edition colour every month, because I'm not being funny. Um, I just don't 
we just don't have storage to be able to store that many colours. We really don't. However, it would mean that I could probably do more than just one or two rolls of a filament. Which, of course, would give me more, which would increase my sales. So it is something we're looking at. So there was that. That was the that was one of the questions I saw. Um, I've had quite a few new subscribers recently as well. So I do want to say welcome to my channel. Um, thank you for subscribing. Um, the best way that you guys, that anyone can help me grow is by liking the videos. And I know that it's a bit of a pain if you're watching on a TV. I get it. Um, but honestly, taking that minute just to go and... Well, I've done that three. That's that one that I haven't done. There we go. Uh, taking that minute to go and like the video absolutely makes a massive difference because the more likes I get on the video, the more that that video will be suggested to other people, other diamond painters. And that's how it's going to grow. Um, I don't expect every single person that comes across my channel to subscribe because let's face it I'm not everybody's cup of tea I get it I do you know I'm, una I'm, I'm unapologetic about the way that I am I am what I am and that's what you get you know no airs and graces no falsities no playing up or, or pretending to be nice for the camera I'm you know this is what you get but that is the best way to help my channel grow, is to like the videos. Um, you will see that I am near that 1000 mark. So if you do know other people that Diamond Paint that are looking for somebody to watch, please do suggest my name. I would really, really appreciate that as well. Um, and yeah, just stay subscribed helps a lot. Um, I know in the grand scheme of things, a thousand subscribers isn't that many to most people, but to someone who started this just because I felt like we needed more people, <laughs> it's huge. So I do appreciate it. So that is it. Do not forget if you are interested in more videos doing conversions, please do use that hashtag, hashtag DIY DP November 23. That will throw up all the videos that are on YouTube currently doing this particular event. Um, you can look in my playlist. I've got a playlist for it as well. Um, or you can just come back tomorrow to watch Kristen's Craftyish Kristen, or Wednesday and Thursday for Penny at Cow Sparkles, or you could just catch some of the other ones. Um, do not forget that we are live on Friday. That will be 9 p.m. GMT. Um, normally go live for about an hour and a half, or until my phone cuts it out from overheating, whichever comes first. You never know. So that is it from me. Thank you for joining me today. Please do keep drilling. And um, I will see you very soon. It is, as always, over and out from this kitten up kitten. Bye-bye.